over another, never listening to another. It's, it's about equality and it's about listening to each other and it is about acting and, um, and deciding collaboratively. So I want to start by thanking Charlene. Uh, Carlene. Sorry, Carlene, sorry. <laughs> Carlene, for um, your wonderful uh, introduction and welcome. Thank you so much. It was, um, it was very meaningful to me, especially uh, to hear you talking about how important it is to work in a collaborative way. Isn't that what we want, actually, out of our governments now? I mean, how many of you are actually excited about seeing a provincial government where, in fact, there are two parties collaborating to get better results for us, the public? I know we're supposed to be talking and, and introducing ourselves, but I feel like probably you all know me. Um, so uh, what I'd really like to do is focus on this election because this election is a big election, really big, bigger than anything I've seen in Vancouver, actually, for a very, very long time. Um, there are huge issues in the city. Who hasn't had, in the course of today, at least one conversation with somebody about affordability and the lack of affordability, especially in our housing? Talk to somebody who's had to leave this city because they can't find a place to live or who feels real anxiety because they're worried about being rent evicted or the rents are too high for them to be able to afford. Every single day we have those conversations. I was born in Vancouver and when I was growing up, there wasn't a question in anybody's mind that this was the most livable city in the world that we had the most fabulous quality of life, the most wonderful natural environment and natural setting, friendly people, the pace of life was great. It didn't feel congested, it didn't feel like, you know, you, you, you know things were deteriorating around you, whether it's sewer pipes or, or park boulevards. Um, people aren't saying that anymore. People are saying they're worried about their quality of life. They feel like change is happening so rapidly that we're not keeping up in terms of offering people the kinds of um, amenities, the community centers, the parks, the, the child care, the schools, the, the, the things that people need to make their life so um, well-rounded and fulfilling. So these big issues, and there's, there's more, environment. In terms of the environment, we have had, I mean, we've all faced this summer. How many of you had difficult breathing? I mean, tears or, or you know, eyes that were clogging up because of the smoke. Some, it wasn't the fires here, but BC was on fire. And BC was on fire because the planet, climate, is changing. And we are the cause of that change. These are huge, huge issues, and we have to tackle them, and the people to tackle them the best are the people who are really committed to the kind of change that will put us on the right path. And change is what this election is about. You can feel it in the air. You don't, uh, any conversation you have on the street, people will say, it's time for a change. And whether or not you, know, you agree with the fact that Vision as the party that dominated for the last 10 years um, this, this city politics did some good things, there's no doubt that there were some, some good initiatives in there. People are saying right now it wasn't enough, it wasn't the right kind of initiatives, and things have gotten worse, especially housing affordability. So change is what it is about. In a change election, you have to think about where you're headed and who can you trust. Who can you trust? Where are people going to put their votes? And it's my, first of all, my ardent hope that the voters of this city do not choose to elect any party to a majority of seats on any board. Not council, not school board, but not park board. Because a party with a majority has all of the power. They can push through any decision they want and they don't have to listen to anyone else. 
They don't have to listen to fellow people on their council with them. They don't have to listen to the public. They just listen to their own insiders. That has been my experience. That is the experience of every majority. I don't think Vancouver needs another majority. I think it needs collaborative politics. I think it needs the kind of politics that, that Carlene talked about, which are people listening to each other, respecting each other, knowing that the good ideas don't just come from one person or one party or one side of the spectrum, but in fact, there are lots of good ideas. We need to work those out and move forward. So, not a majority is my, my one big hope. And by the way, Greens are not running for a majority on any board. Lots of people said, well, you should. Your polling is so good. You know, you should run, a, you know, run for, for the majority on Park Board or another board. But no, um, we, we decided it is about collaboration. That is, that is more important. So you can vote for four Greens for Council, for three for Park Board, three for School Board, and you'll still have lots of choice. You have other points, places on the ballot that you can vote for in the council. There'll be six other spots for council and another spot for mayor. So the point is, I, I think, really, vote green first and then figure out what you want to do in terms of filling out the ballot in the way. In terms of trust and who do you vote for, I want you to think about this. In, tr in trust, you want to think about the party or the individuals running for that party that you feel aligned with in terms of their values, that they're going to carry those values through into decision making. So what I can tell you about Green Values is that we put public interest first. We are not tied to developer interests. We haven't received any developer donations anyway, you know, through the last X number of elections. Now it's illegal, but we've not been tied to developer interest. And that makes a huge difference, especially when it comes to tackling the housing crisis in this city. You, you, can, you can count on us in terms of our values to stand up for, um, for diversity, for uh, nonviolence, for real um, democracy that puts decisions in the hands of people in a collaborative way. We should be co-creating the plans in this city with the public, not top-down decision-making. You can count on us in terms of listening to the public, because listening to the public is where it starts. I have to say that as the only Green on Council, it's been hard sometimes to listen to the public put forward an idea that they're saying and to not have anyone else vote for it. So that's why we need to elect our team of Greens. We need to elect all ten, four to council, three to school board, three to park board. Um, we will collaborate with, with uh, everyone uh, who the voters choose to elect. Um, but we will lead. We will lead on the issues that are really of most importance. Affordable housing, where we ask more from developers, more from the, the development industry. We will lead on the environment. You can count on, dream, on greens. You can trust us to put the environment first. You know that, in, that despite the rhetoric about the greenest city and going for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, our goal in the Greenest City Action Plan was to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 30% by the year 2020. That's two years away. We've reduced them 7%. We need much bolder action on, on housing affordability, on the climate. Our kids are counting on us. And the last thing I want to say about kids is that, you know, when Greens make decisions, they don't just make decisions thinking about right now. They base decisions on solid facts and information and really tackling the big problems that we have. And they think, they, they put through this screen, and will this decision leave our city better off in terms of not just people today, but our children and our grandchildren? And it's that long-term thinking we need right now, that big, bold action, knowing it's got to have an impact on that long-term, so our world will be a better place, our city will be 
a better place for every individual, not now, only now, but in the future. So that's what you can count on, but what we need to do is count on you. Uh, and counting on you means that to get 10 Greens elected is going to take your help. It's going to take your help in terms of actual action, so your volunteer effort. Uh, there will be, we're not doing it right now, but we're going to be doing a call for you to, to sign up to volunteer. Uh, so more on that later. We need your help in terms of a donation. Anything you can offer is wonderful, but we can't print the materials or hire the staff that, that help with our, with our campaigns unless you can give something, uh, whatever you can, to make yeah. that happen. Um, and we need your vote. And we need you to go out and get more votes because in a change election, when people are feeling a bit anxious, sometimes people actually decide not to vote. Maybe they don't know who to vote for or they're just upset with where the city's headed. You, you can be, each one of you, this wonderful little sort of um, bellwether you know, person saying to your friends, your family, people you know that, you know, this election is more important than any election I've seen for people to vote, to get out there and, and make sure that that change is a good change that happens. So, um, before we get into all of that, I do want to invite up my fellow council candidates uh, to join me on the stage. So, oh. <laughs> what I want. That's a team that's so in my head, they know what I'm going to say, and they're already doing it. Like, that's going to be a great team on council. <laughs> so, in terms of council, let me tell you, um, it has been lonely. I do not want to be the sole counselor. Please do everything you can <laughs> to help get these people elected with me. All three of these, plus our three for school board and our three for park board. Um, because there's so much work to do and it's really hard to do it when you're just one person. It's way, way better to share the workload um, and to do it with smart, experienced, well-grounded, thoughtful people. Like that is what's going to make a difference in our city. These people. <laughs> So, um, am I supposed to just go into, an, into the pledge option right now? Ah, okay. So now we're morphing.